He said, did you hear about the Filipino rapper that shot the American MMA fighter in Cebu? Damn, no, I did not hear about that, man. Let's hold that thought, man. Give me a second. We might we might have to wing something real quick, because if I find the article about it and we can go over it since I'm actually here, um, yeah, we might be able to do that. Um, Give me a second. So while I'm doing this research, man, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, notify, do all the good things to make yourself well-versed in the good docs content. Doc with Ali, appreciate that one, man. If you guys want to support in any capacity, please feel free to do so. But like I said, man, I'm happy and blessed. Y'all choose to come through, spend a little bit of time with the boy today, Nayeon Den. Filipino rapper, shoots, MMA fighter. I'm just, that's what I'm typing. <laughs> shoots, MMA fighter in Cebu. Let me see what comes up. If an article comes up, ah, somebody else did a video on it. So I'm seeing some videos pop up of it. But I'm trying to find a horror moment. MMA fighter shot dead outside the hotel. All right. This happened about three days ago. So there is a video attached to it. Let me see if I can bring this up real quick, guys. Don't look at me crazy. Give me a second. Uno momento. Let me slide myself in that little corner. Uh, damn, it's been a while since I used this, y'all. Give me a second. <laughs> Got to figure out. Uh, present. I'm fucking up, y'all. Just give me a second. Present. Let me share my screen. Fucking it. Uh, we'll do entire screen. That's weird. Uh, share. All right. So I should be sharing my shit right now. All right. So here's the article, man. I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. I mean, while we here in the moment in this organic, let me look at this shit exactly as you gave it to me, you know, like not no preview of me reading about it. I'm just reading about it, you know, with you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So apparently there's a video. I'm afraid to play the video, but let's see what happens. Let me see what's on the video. I gotta get these commercials in. Somebody gotta make their money. Shit. <clears throat> My bad if y'all can't hear it. Just watch it. <laughs> oh shit. All right, guys, warning. Shit. Now, you know what? My bad, y'all. You know what? I'm afraid to play it. Y'all gonna have to look at that on your own because I'm afraid it might demonetize the video. Let me not do nothing stupid. All right, but let's go ahead and read it, though. It says, in cold blood, horror moment, MMA fighter shot dead outside the hotel by jealous rapper who accused him of talking to his girlfriend. Damn, we can't even have no conversations with these girls anymore, man. <laughs> Crazy. But again, this um comes courtesy of the U.S. Sun. If you guys want to watch the video yourself, I'm not going to watch it because I kind of feel like I might get myself screwed over doing some shit like that. So this is apparently the UFC fighter. Looks like he's from Alabama. Um, his name is George Ritchie from Alabama. He was shot in a car park after a party in Cebu. All right. Now, I've been to Cebu. Let me let me tell y'all something about Cebu. And this is one thing that I really realized about Cebu, like the first time I ever went there. Cebu is a foreigner's haven. And I don't know why. You would think it would be Manila. But I think Cebu is truly one of those places where you'll find a lot of foreigners like hanging out and kicking in, having a good time. Not so much Davao. You know, that's why Davao will always be one of them hidden gems, in my opinion, because people go there, but they really don't go there like that. All right. But um, yeah, um, I last time I went to Cebu, man, a lot of foreigners, man, a lot of American guys too. I seen there, of course, um, with all due respect, and I say this with the utmost respect, uh, Cebu is nothing more than an extension of Korea, because you'll see a lot, lots, 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 lots of Koreans in Cebu. Like you see Indians in Davao, Koreans in Cebu. They they have got that place damn near landlocked. I just call Cebu Little Korea. With all due respect now. But, um, you know, there are quite a other foreigners from other races that actually seem to congregate there as well. I didn't know about it until I saw it firsthand. You would think it would be vanilla, but Cebu is becoming that haven for a lot of foreign men. But, again, going back to the article, guys. Uh, MMA fighter has been brutally killed by a jealous rapper accused of talking to this guy's girlfriend. Gentleman's name is George Ritchie from Alabama. Bama, shot in a car parking lot in Cebu City, Philippines. A um, couple of videos for you guys to check out. Um, so apparently the guy who shot this particular individual is pictured here. Um, his name is Jed. He said he's thought to have killed oh Michael after accusing him of harassing his girlfriend. So we go from talking to his girlfriend to harassing his girlfriend. That's weird. That's weird. Let's 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 try this again. First of all, the article said for, if I'm not mistaken, let's go back to the top real quick. Udo Momento, my man said, rapper who accused him of talking to his girlfriend. 
All right. So we go from talking to harassing, which is crazy, man. The verbiage, man. Always listen to the words, man. That shit will get you every time. Um, but the article reads on the CCTV. If I need to zoom in, guys, I can zoom in for you. Give me a second. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it. I'm not able to read comments yet. I will get to those in a second for those of you who are just coming in. All right. So it says the CCTV footage shows a blue SUV thought to have been driven by the rapper um, suddenly pull up outside the waterfront Cebu City Hotel and Casino. Now, I want you to understand something. The waterfront city hotel and casino is no, that shit's not in the ghetto, okay? Let's call it for what it is. That is not no hood spot. That is, I'm not going to say it's hella upscale, but that's not the hood. That's not in an area where you would expect violence like this to occur. Let's call it for what it is. This is not an area in Cebu where violence like this occurs. The waterfront Cebu city hotel and casino, mind you, that, in my opinion, it's not in a downtrodden slash what most people would call the ghetto. It's just not in that area. So to have something like this happen in an area like this, that shit a little, little sketchy. But let's go ahead and read on. Um, he is alleged to have been jealous that Michael had been speaking to his girlfriend and accused him of harassment. Okay, so he accused him of harassing his girlfriend. The article just said talking. Yeah, we, we, we two different places. Give me a second. Mm. The shocking video captured the moment Michael was savagely kicked in the back by one of um, Jed's cronies. So apparently there were multiple guys involved. I assumed it to be true. Very rare. Now let's let's call it for what it is. I know we I know I'm dragging it a little bit. We'll get to the rest of it. Okay, don't look like this much to read, but let's call it for what it is. This person is a trained, skilled fighter. I am not sure that the person who 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 deleted this particular young man was aware of this man's background, but at the same time, you knew he came with cronies, quote unquote, individuals that were with him in his entourage or his group. <sighs> I do not believe that there will be a fair fight when it comes to a local guy and a foreigner. Right. I do not believe there would even if they came to the fisticuffs. Right. Even if they came to throwing hands and you don't know this man's background, regardless of whether you knew this man's background or not. High percentage chance it wasn't going to be a fair fight from Jump Street, because what would be the need or the reason for this particular rapper gentleman to fight the motherfucker hand to hand? For no reason. Why would he fight him? Why would he fist the cuff this guy, <laughs> right? Make it make sense. Why would I throw hands with you? I don't know you like that, and I got my boys with me. This is my turf. This is my territory. Philippines is my home. Sabu, that's me. I'm a rapper. Of course, I got people in my entourage in my corner. So why in the world would I waste my time trying to throw hands on a one-on-one -on -one? Well, my boys can help take care of that business for me. That's just what I've learned, man. That's why when I tell y'all, man, don't be acting up here in the Philippines. I mean it. These guys are just weird. They built different. And I mean, don't get me wrong. It can happen in the United States, too. Somebody jump you. But you got to understand, you have no backup. Ain't nobody there going to watch your back. Like, unless you got Filipino homies. And luckily, I believe that I got just enough people in the Philippines that I rock with that I think wouldn't allow situations like this to happen. And even myself, I wouldn't put myself in a situation for things like this to happen. But at the same time, you know, if you're going out, you're trying to enjoy the evening. You know, you're trying to talk to somebody else's girl. Maybe you don't know that. Maybe she didn't tell you she was in a relationship. You know what it is. You know, you, shit could pop off in any way, shape or form. Right. So his cronies ended up kicking my man in the back after being attacked from behind. The CCTV sees Michael tentatively walk over to the car, open the passenger door and have a very brief conversation with the driver. All right. Michael can be Michael can then be seen being shot twice and collapsing on the floor. Medics were quickly ushered onto the scene and. Michael was rushed to the Cebu City Medical Center where he was treated for the gunshot wounds in his shoulder and thigh. Although the medics acted quickly, Michael passed away after two nights in the intensive care unit on March 19th. So that just happened, we'll say, about a week or so ago or less. Local police were able to arrest uh, Jed four hours after the particular event took place. Is there anything else to read? All right. Police seized the loaded handgun. Police spokesperson added that although Jed was initially only charged with the illegal possession of a firearm and attempted murder, 
excuse me, I shouldn't say that, attempted deletion. Uh, this has since been changed. Police chief confirmed that Jed is now facing the deletion charges. Uh, Jed told the police that Michael had been harassing a group of females at the party and maintained that the shooting was an act of protection and self-defense. Wow. People get funny with those words, man. People get funny with the word. The word plays everything. It was an act of protection and self-defense. An act of protection and self-defense. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how you define self-defense, but if your boys get out the car and put hands on somebody first, and then that person retaliates or comes to the car to talk to you about it, and then you, you know, put a couple, put a couple rounds through that window. How is that self-defense, bro? When it seems like in this particular case, you started it. Now, let's let's call it for what it is. Who knows what happened earlier on in that evening? All right. I'm going to be real and I'm going to be fair because, you know, the good doc's a fair person, right? I'm going to call it for what it is because I really don't know what it is, right? I'm going to call it how I think it could have played out from both perspectives. The dude could have been a complete asshole, right? The MMA fighter could have really been in the club harassing women. He could have been, right? You know, get a couple drinks in you. You're feeling yourself a little bit. You could have been over there thinking these Filipinos really, these Filipinas really, really want me. We've had these conversations before how guys kind of, you know, take it above and above, you know, above and beyond when they don't necessarily need to. You know, you think women are feeling you, maybe they not. You know, he could have very well been harassing, right? It's 50 50 chance. Could have happened, could not have happened. But the fact that you didn't address the situation then and there when he was doing the harassing, but you wait until my man gets outside of the club when he's by himself and then your boys, you know, start to, you know, attack or, you know, do something to him. And he tries to respond to that attack and then you put a couple rounds through the window. It, it's kind of look a little shaky for a self-defense, uh, a self-defense plea. But again, you know. One of the scary things, I like to believe in the fairness of everything. I do like to believe in law and justice. I do like to believe that the truth will eventually prevail. But it still is a foreigner against a local. And we just got to be, we got to be real, right? We got to be real. It's still the local guy's word, fellow rappers, Cebu, Filipinos finest, I assume. I'm not sure and I'm not familiar with this man's music, but it's his word against the foreign Japan. Sometimes it don't always play in the form of man's favor. That's all I'm saying. You know, God bless his soul, man. Nobody deserves to die in that way. If I was grabbing ass and shit, with all due respect, I would never do that because that's not Doc's vibe. But even if I was doing that, damn, I don't think I deserve to die for it. You know, that's crazy, right? But anyways, reading the rest of the story, uh, Mayor immediately dismissed these claims. He said the bouncer pacified the group and escorted them outside. Okay, so the uh, the... Bouncer apparently got involved, made sure the situation was not what it was. The foreigner was already there at the hotel, and there was another group of young people who were talking to him. Okay, so it seems like the bouncer took care of that particular situation, and what I just previously explained to you guys was, yeah, something that happened, you know, outside of the club. Uh, the suspect was not in the hotel initially and had nothing to do with it. He only arrived in the area later and... Um, okay, so your man's wasn't even in the club. Oh, okay, okay. Now good doc is, now the wheels are turning, right? <laughs> you know, I'm a little slow, man. I'm just getting back into the groove of things. Work with me. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. You know what it is, man. If y'all want to support, you already know what it is. So apparently, this Jed character wasn't even in the club. So he really don't know exactly what the fuck was happening between him and these women. He may have heard some things, but it said that the rapper wasn't even at the hotel or did nothing or was no part of anything happening in the hotel. He only arrived later on. So only when my man was outside, did he arrive and they exchanged words. Okay. So maybe he heard that my man was over here, you know, harassing these women. I don't know, but it's starting to get a little, little iffy and a little sketchy here. Let's go ahead and try to sum this up real quick. Uh, he has admitted to shooting the American man. There is no basis that it was self-defense or that he was protecting his friends. Uh, the mayor added that the man who kicked Michael has been identified and is being tracked down, so they haven't found him. They found the rapper, but not his friend. Uh, it later emerged that after Jed fatally, you know, put a little rounds through Michael, he fled to his manager's home crying and having a nervous breakdown. The manager quoted the incident to the police. Jed was quoted to have said, bro, help me. I killed someone. Take me to the police station. Wow. 
Okay, there's some more footage here. I'm, wow, this is starting to get ugly. Uh, Paul also claimed that the rapper regretted shooting Michael. Uh, Michael's heartbroken girlfriend, who is also Filipina, I assume. Her name is Tise, or Tisai, excuse me, Fuentes, or Fuentes, has taken to social media to share her grief. So he was dating a Filipina, ah, my assumption. Um, she posted, I can't accept what happened to her particular young man. I told you to get better because there's so many people waiting for you to come back. Why did you leave me? Your child and family were still, oh, wow. Okay, so it gets a little deeper. So apparently my man was a father too. Shit, man. Oh, shit. Man, your child and family were still waiting for you. Oh, shit. Uh, Michael was respected athlete who hadn't taken part in a number, oh, who had taken part in a number of MMA fights across the United States. He was also involved in the establishment of the first ever jiu-jitsu league, the Professional Grappler Federation in Las Vegas. Because so my man was doing things. Um, he was also involved in the establishment, I'm sorry, uh, PGF founder took to Instagram to express condolences. He wrote what he wrote here. Um, he dedicated his life, his time and effort every week to something that he believed in and fought his heart out for every time step to the ring. Um, I'm assuming that might be a picture of him right there. That dude looked like he knew what he was doing. He looked like he could take care of business. I'm assuming that's him right here and his young lady. Um, damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I'm assuming that's his wife or his young lady there. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I could. I, he looked. He looked like he swole. Like I just don't think that it was ever gonna be a one on one, and I don't believe that. Um, in any respect, weapons would not be involved, regardless of whatever the situation was. Yeah, it do look like he takes care of himself and the tattoos and all that stuff. And this is the rapper in question. Um, picture of him. I think we've covered the rest of the story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's. Wow. Let's, 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 let us, let us figure this out. That's a lot, a lot to unpack, ladies and gentlemen. It sucks. I appreciate, um, appreciate my man. Well, man, we go back to it, go back to it, go back to it, go back to it. Joseph, I appreciate you bringing this one to my, to my attention. Um, that story was crazy, by the way, did not under any circumstances see that shit coming, but we got to understand, man, we are outnumbered in the country, A, B. I don't know what it is that drove this man to do what he did to this particular foreign man. But at the same time, man, I don't know what this particular gentleman did to put himself in that situation either. I mean, for me, it go both ways, guys. It does. I'm a real one, and I'm going to call it like I see it. It goes both ways, man. If you're going to sit there and put yourself in that situation or not extract yourself from it, if you know that you can by walking away, I mean, getting kicked in the back, man, that's kind of provoking me. I understand it's going to be hard to walk away from somebody kicking me in my back. But at the same time, man, man, we got to make smarter decisions as foreign men in these countries, man. We've got to make smarter decisions. All right. But yeah, man, that was that was tough to read, bro. But I but I understand, you know. And I think it's very, and it's safe to say from the perspective of, man, for foreigners, guys, it's not probably as safe as you thought it may have once been. And you've got to be careful how you approach or talk to certain people, let alone involve yourself in activities, you know, such as, you know, arguments or whatever it may be. You got to be careful about that shit. Man, you think they care about us now? They, I, I can almost guarantee you for every couple of people who are cool with you being there and happy that you were able to visit their country and you know welcoming and all of that shit and you get these heartfelt warm welcomes in the country and shit for every few people that do that shit i can almost guarantee you there's gonna be a handful that look at you like why this foreigner in my country don't get it twisted filipinos overall great people i very rarely had any issues with them right every now and again you might have an idiot somebody who says something ignorant or you know whatever but for the most part in general i never really could say that i've had any bad experiences dealing with filipinos for the most part but again i speak for the most part there are a couple people out there that i promise you you say the wrong thing at the right time motherfuckers start to get active it's true. People don't have a problem getting active in these streets. Why? 
because they got to defend their right. There's a thing in the Philippines, and I've said it before in a video. Maybe you guys heard it. Maybe you guys missed it. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever talked about this, but there's a thing in the Philippines called saving face. And if you disrespect a Filipino amongst his friends or amongst the people and, pe and he and, you know, people see you disrespect him, it is almost an automatic thing for him to react because he's got to protect his image or his ego or whatever you want to call it. They call it saving face. They're not just going to allow you to say some things. 